Good day to all grade 7 deaf students of Gusan National High School. I am Teacher Anne, your SPED teacher for Values Education 7. We are here again for another meaningful learning on the hierarchy of values by Max Keller in continuation of our previous lesson. Before we start, let us first begin our class with a prayer. May I ask everyone to put yourselves in the presence of God as we say this prayer. Our most loving Heavenly Father, our Lord and our Savior, we gather together here to praise and honor your holy name. We give you thanks for this wonderful day you have given us. Thank you for giving us all our needs and for protecting us all the time. Thank you for the gift of life, family, and education that gives a sense of purpose each day. Thank you for every chance to enhance our learning, even in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Dear Lord, as we tackle a new lesson today, please give us the clarity of mind, openness of heart, and wisdom to understand what we need to learn so that we may be able to apply it in our daily lives. We also ask for the forgiveness of all our sins in thoughts, words, and deeds. In times of weakness, let your Holy Spirit strengthen us so we may be able to overcome temptations. Whatever difficulties we are facing right now, please help us feel your presence. Let our focus be on you and you alone. You are the source of our strength and our joy. To you, we give back all glory and praises in everything we do. All these things we pray in your mighty name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we start, let me remind everyone here to please clean your table first. Prepare your pen, paper, and your module 10 in Values Education 7. For your attendance, please write the word present in the comment box below or write done watching if you're watching this video from Facebook or YouTube. All right, are you ready? Are you excited to learn? Well, I'm sure you are. Our objective for today is, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to create your own letter of values based on Max Keller's hierarchy of values. But before we go to our lesson, let us first have a recap or review of our past lesson. Once again, what is value or values? Anyone here? Correct. Values come from the Latin word valore, which means being strong or firm and having meaning or importance. What is more important to you in this COVID-19 pandemic? Your modules or your mobile game? Staying at home or strolling around? Your family or friends? Chatting with friends or praying to God? Which one should be given more importance or value? And how will you know it? Well, according to Max Keller, there are five characteristics of a high value. These characteristics will guide us in deciding which one is of high value and which is not. What again is the first characteristic of a high value? Correct. Number one is timelessness or the ability to endure longer. A value is of high level if it does not change with time. For example, 
spending money to buy a book is of higher value than buying food. And why is this so? Can anyone tell me here? You are right. The knowledge that you get from reading a book lasts longer than the physical happiness that you get from eating foods. Both are important, but buying a book is of highest level or higher level than buying food because the knowledge you get from the book lasts longer over time. This is what you call timelessness or ability to endure. What is the number two characteristic of a high value? Very good. A value is of high level if despite its transmission to many generations, its quality is maintained. It is not reduced to a lower quality. This is what you call as indivisibility. For example, the value of knowledge that is passed on to generations is not reduced to a lower quality, even if it is shared by many people. Its quality is maintained. Compared to material things such as food or gadgets, example, tab, cell phone, or laptops, the quality of these material things is reduced over time. As time passes, these things are no longer usable, so you have to buy again a new one. What is the third characteristic of a high value? Well done! The third characteristic is it creates other values. This values becomes the basis for other values. For example, a mother who works abroad does not mind her suffering loneliness and fatigue from working in a foreign land because she values more giving financial support to her children. She sacrificed her own comfort and safety just to see her children graduate in school. Seeing her children succeed in school is of higher value than her sacrifices and tiredness in working abroad. Let's go now to the fourth characteristic of a high value. Can anyone here guess what it is? Correct. Number four is, a value is of high level if it gives you a deeper feeling of satisfaction or happiness. Example, attending a prayer meeting gives more satisfaction than playing basketball with your friends. Yes. Playing basketball with your friends makes you happy, but the happiness that you get from it is not as deep as compared to attending a prayer meeting. Do you agree? Alright, another example is being good to other people. Doing a good act gives you a deeper sense of satisfaction or happiness than giving importance to things that are of lower value. Now we're down to the last characteristic of a high value. Can anyone give me what it is? Good job! The fifth characteristic is, a high value is of higher level if it is not based on the organism that senses it. Our best example for this is Rosel Ambubuyog, the first blind student of Ateneo University who graduated summa cum laude, or first honor with the course BS Mathematics. Her value, which is her desire to succeed in the field of mathematics, is of higher level or more important than her physical disability. Her blindness did not stop her from succeeding in school and reaching her dreams. Another example of a person with disability who succeeded in life is Anna Christina Arce. She is a deaf student who graduated magna cum laude or second honors from the De La Salle College of St. Benil with a bachelor in applied deaf studies specializing in multimedia arts. She was the first Filipino to be awarded the World Deaf Leadership Scholarship at the Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., USA in 2012. This only means that whoever you are, 
or whatever challenges or problems you have in life, this will not stop you from doing good and succeeding in life. Like now in this time of pandemic, despite the problems we experience, we are still able to show our faith and love for God by attending virtual masses and praying at home. Some of us are able to help other people in need, especially those who lost their jobs in this pandemic. From these principles, Max Keller formed the hierarchy of values and he called this Ordo Amores, or Order of the Heart. Max Keller believes that the human heart is capable of giving its own reason, which the mind may not understand. This is the ladder of the hierarchy of values by Max Keller. Let us discuss them one by one. Let's begin with the sensory values. Sensory values are considered to be at the lowest level of values. It refers to the values that bring pleasure to the human senses. For example, man's basic needs like clothing, food, shelter, medicine, education, and others. The second hierarchy of values is called vital values. These are related to man's well-being, for example, the value of sleep and exercise, the value to be loved, to belong, to be accepted, knowing one's strength and weaknesses, culture and tradition. The third hierarchy of values is called spiritual values. Spiritual values can be considered to have a higher value than the first two mentioned, the sensory and vital. Examples of this are self-actualization and self-realization. High level of responsibility or universal compassion and responsibility. Spiritual values are values for the good, not for oneself, but of the greater number. Spiritual values have three types, the aesthetic values, which refers to the beauty not only of nature, but the beauty that we see in all people. Next one is the value of justice, which refers to the value of giving justice to man regardless of his status in life. And the third one is the value of full cognition of truth, which is the value of doing something that is good and being true to ourselves and to our neighbors. The fourth and the last hierarchy of values is called holy values. Holy values is the highest of all levels of values. It refers to the values necessary for man to achieve his fullness in order to be ready to face God, the holiness of man, and his completeness. Holy values are considered the highest form of value because giving love to God and obeying God's commandment create other values. It is not enough to go to church to show our love for God. We need to do the things that God wants us to do and share the message of God to other people. Max Keller said that moral action occurs when a person chooses one value in exchange for other values. Judging the good or bad of a person's action depends on the choice of value. In this COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of things have changed. We are being tested on what really matters most in our lives. This pandemic has given us a chance to know what must be given more value or importance or the things that must be taken care of the most. Now let us watch this short video on the 10 life lessons we've learned from COVID-19 pandemic. Over the last few months, life has drastically changed. 
The coronavirus outbreak has created a wave of fear and has definitely made news all over the world. But have you ever wondered what important lessons we have learned? Well, as the world strives to adapt to the new normal, we'll give you 10 life lessons we've learned from the COVID-19 outbreak. Because why not? Everything in life has a takeaway. One, diseases know no borders, no gender, no race, no language or face. Let's face the facts. You could be anyone, the highest ranked in order, or absolutely a commoner. A disease understands none of this. It could affect anyone, anybody, and almost anywhere. It has made us a bit more humble and empathetic to each other in the simplest of manners, teaching us that we are all equally and similarly exposed to this virus, and one must respect each other at such times, and respect life above all the distinctions created by humans. Two. It is okay to trade your freedom for the greater good of humankind. It's simple. If you go out, do wear a mask, maintain social distancing, and take necessary precautions. We should not go out and attract trouble, but rather stay at home. Yes, we understand. Socializing is a key part of who we humans are. But this pandemic has forced us to make sudden and drastic changes to our lifestyles. And this will be our new normal for a while now. So, trade a little of your freedom for the greater good. 3. Wash your hands, virus or not. It's better to be safe than sorry. What has this disease taught us most importantly? To be hygienic and stay clean. Well, we took hygiene for granted and never really gave a thought to how many times we used to wash our hands in a day, what we touch, or how to keep ourselves sanitized. Virus or not, let's make this a regular habit. Let's make sure we maintain staying clean and healthy and lessen the chances of falling ill. 4. Working from home should be an option for many. This new normal might just become standard practice, at least for some employees, even after the COVID-19 situation is resolved. A lot of the workforce across the globe has moved to a work-from-home model to keep their services and workflow uninterrupted. Experts say some companies are likely to move to work from home permanently. If that is an option, take it, follow it, and this will definitely contribute to a lesser crowd outside that commutes. The lesser, the merrier. 5. Don't take any sickness lightly. Ever. No sickness should ever be taken lightly. Patients should immediately consult their doctors in case of any symptoms that they experience. If you are feeling unwell, it is a must to approach the healthcare facilities as soon as you can, and by doing so, you'll be taking care of yourself and your family members too. 6. Respect doctors and medical staff. Those in the white coats are like gods and are heroes. This pandemic battle is led by an army of medical doctors, nurses, paramedics and researchers. They are fighting a war on multiple fronts, and the least we could do for them is respect them and cooperate. We often take medical staff and our caretakers for granted, but these times have taught us to be thankful to them for their time, patience and dedication. 7. Survival of the smartest While most of us faced lockdown during these times, life has taught us how to deal with lots of problems, such as lack of essentials, and learning to manage household chores and more. Well, most of us should know how to cook, and these were the best times everyone indulged in learning, and by doing so, surviving. Make the most you can with the least you have. Indeed, survival of the smartest is the new normal. 8. The importance of talking to your friends and family. Man has always been stuck with his routine, running around, working to make it big and whatnot. While being locked down at home, we've managed to connect with our families again. Even so, we've bonded with our friends over video calls and taken the time to talk to them. Well, it's nice to stop and appreciate our loved ones for once. 9. Learn to appreciate nature. Lockdown has brought to our notice how clear the sky is, how beautiful the air is when not polluted, how wonderful nature can be when not disturbed or meddled with. Mother Earth needed a vacation too, and the coronavirus is definitely helping her heal. Let's always continue to do so, and make sure we maintain the eco-balance and give love to our planet. 10. Learn to love yourself. Self-introspect. 
Well, we all have been living far beyond what we thought we wouldn't be able to make it through times. This virus has made us realise that most of what we thought matters doesn't really matter. We don't really need a lot of loud places and people around us all the time to make things elevated or make believe happy. Yes, we can stop our clock for a bit and indulge in knowing ourselves a little better, and not always rushing to race against time and forgetting ourselves in the bargain. On that note, let's hope for a positive and a better tomorrow, and be thankful for small joys that keep us alive and kicking. Stay safe, stay healthy, and while at home, keep watching You Curious. Discover more. Know more. Now let's have an activity. From the video that you've watched, cite the 10 values that are given importance in this COVID-19 pandemic and identify to which values it belongs to in the hierarchy of values. The number one value that was cited in the video was humility and respect for life. Where do you think this value belongs to? Correct, it belongs to spiritual values because being humble and respecting life is giving more importance to others than of yourself. Number two, safety of others in exchange of one's freedom. Where do you think this belongs to? Correct again, it belongs to spiritual values. Number three, cleanliness or personal hygiene. Where do you think this is? Very good. It belongs to vital values. Why? Because, correct, it pertains to taking care of yourself for your own well-being. Number four, working from home. Anyone? Yes, good. It belongs to vital values. Why? Correct. Because it is still about your well-being. Working from home keeps you safe from COVID-19. Number five, medicine and healthcare. Where do you think this belongs to? Correct. It belongs to the basic values, the sensory values, medicine and healthcare. Number six, respect for healthcare workers. Any guess? Very good. It belongs to spiritual values. Respect for healthcare workers, the doctors, nurses, medtechs, etc. Number seven, being wise to survive. Where do you think this belongs to? All right, being wise to survive is a basic value, so it belongs to sensory values. The need to survive. Number eight. Talking with friends, family. Very good. It belongs to vital values. Number nine, loving nature. Any guess? Good. It belongs to spiritual values. As mentioned before, aesthetic values is under spiritual values. So, Part of the aesthetic values is loving the beauty of nature or protecting nature for the good of mankind. And lastly, number 10, self-love or self-introspect. Anyone? All right. It belongs to vital values. Self-love and self-introspect. Why do you think this belongs to these values? Correct. Because you need to love yourself 
in order to attain a total well-being. Now it's your turn to answer your weekly learning activity. Your first weekly learning activity is entitled, My Values, Low, Negative, or Positive? Instruction number one. From the photo above, check and identify your values that belong to the low level. Write it down on the first column on the table while the high level values on the second column. Give only five for each column. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Number two, make your own ladder of values based on the hierarchy of values by Max Keller. From the values listed on the table, identify to which level does it belong to in the hierarchy of values. Write this down on the ladder of values. Give five for each level in the hierarchy of values. So this is the hierarchy of values where you write the values that you have identified on the table. For your weekly learning activity number two, entitled Make a Jingle of Your Values, this is the instruction. In order to show your full understanding of the concept of values, you need to make a jingle. A jingle, by the way, is like a poem song that shows the hierarchy of values and how to know the right selection of each level. The rubrics below or on the table will be the grading criteria or standards. So as you can see on the table, the highest score is from 95 to 100, which means that the, uh, the jingle has shown the hierarchy of values and it has five verses or stanza. It is original and appropriate to the theme. It is easy to understand and has an active tune. For 90 to 95 score, it means there is a, it lacks a level in the hierarchy of values. There is only three to four verses or stanza in the jingle. It's, it's not easy to understand and it has a not so active tune. For the last score, which is from 85 to 89, it has shown a hierarchy of values and there is only two to three verses stanza in the jingle and it has a slow tune that's it that's all for today i hope you have learned uh, something from our lesson see you on our next video goodbye and may god bless you all